Welcome back everybody to the Big Moon Arcade. We're in the shop and we picked up a machine today and I thought uh, it might be interesting just to have a quick look at it and uh, talk about it here for a little bit. Uh, this was local. Uh, one of the guys that lives actually just like literally five minutes down the road from me that uh, is into this kind of thing had this and he had it advertised and uh, we got together today and uh, I purchased it from him. <clears throat> um, a lot of times that's how this works, you know, uh, if you're into this kind of thing, you kind of end up getting to know the local folks that are kind of in your area and, uh, you know, kind of a fraternity of people, you know, that are into this and, uh, you know, they're always really good, cool people and uh, you can uh, help each other out. So that's why I'm always saying take care of your people. It's one of the reasons why. So anyway, this is obviously a junior pac-man but it's really not a junior pac-man originally this is an original pac-man cabinet and you know you probably know when pac-man stopped making money they uh, one thing that they did was they bought this conversion kit and uh basically it came with those stickers came with this overlay for the control panel you can see I hit this with the magic eraser just to kind of see what it would do pretty nice that's untouched pretty nice kind of ugly um, but uh, you know that's actually if we were gonna leave it a junior pac-man and we didn't want to buy a new overlay uh, you know we could clean that up and it'd be presentable um, yeah it looked pretty good uh, original midway joystick all original stuff here uh one of these leaf switches is an original this one right here is not actually an original um or if it is it's been fiddled with but anyway that's uh easy to stick the correct one in there if we need to do that down the road uh so let's have a look back here in the back, it has the original standard Pac-Man slash Ms. Pac-Man power supply. Uh, the edge connector actually looks pretty good, um, so I don't know that we'll have to repin it. We probably will, but looking at it, it actually looks pretty good. None of the pins look fouled or bent or tarnished, and um, you know, at first glance, it looks okay. I did fire it up. Um, it does kick out the 120 volts right here to the monitor. Obviously, there is no monitor. This cabinet didn't to come with one, so we'll have to put one in there. But it appears that the uh, at least that part of the power supply is working just fine. Uh, it also has the original incandescent system up here, which Pac-Man did, Ms. Pac-Man excuse me, had switched to the, you know, fluorescent job, but this one actually has the incandescent bulbs in there. Uh, these are 15 watt bulbs, not the originals. The originals were long and skinny and they were actually 25s. Um, but these both work actually. So I fired them up and it works, it works great. The voltage, uh, everything back there to the monitor, that all works great. And I hadn't checked all the other voltages yet, but I'm assuming they're probably just fine. So um yeah the marquee actually let me show you it's in the house here um let's get a little light on here so we can see what we're doing it actually looks really nice uh, i did hit the back with a coat of triple thick um but it's a good it's not as faded as most of them that you see um the reds actually fade on these pretty dramatically this one's got pretty good red better than most um interestingly enough this is one of the few these are glass you know the standard pac-mans are plexi okay so this one's actually glass which is just the way they did the uh the junior packs so so there's that um here's the pcb for it right here 
It just plugs into any Pac-Man or Ms. Pac-Man board, or cabinet rather. And there it is. Um, it's supposed to work. I haven't checked it yet, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. The edge connector looks pretty, 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 pretty okay. Um, the bezel is right here, and I haven't had really a chance to mess with it much yet. But you can see it's a little dirty, and it's starting to flake a little bit down there by the beer. Don't. Don't don't believe what people say. That's a beer, people. It's a beer. It's a kid's game, but it, it's not a Sunday. It, it's a beer. Just telling you. We've been through that before. So we got it here, say. Five thousand points. Yeah. Over here. Makes it look like an ice cream. No. Up here. What are we doing here, people? And in the game it's most definitely a beer. So there's that. Um, I do have another Junior Pac-Man bezel that I've been keeping around just for general purpose right here. And this one's in really nice shape. So if we need a Junior Pac-Man bezel, we have one. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Still working on that. Might uh, make it back into a Pac-Man, actually. Thinking about that. Not really sure. But uh, the cabinet's good and solid. There's very, very little damage to it. Um, you know, little teeny bits here and there. But uh, compared to the way most of these are, this one's pretty good. Uh, it is on casters. You can see so that's not original but uh, those will come right off and uh, we can put it back on the regular feet so there it is I just wanted to show it I uh, thought it was kind of cool pretty uh, pretty exciting something to uh, to fill with something to work on a new project and uh, it's got the tag on it right there Franklin Park, that's where it happened. That was the big time back in the day, Franklin Park. All right, well, wherever you are and whoever you are, have a wonderful evening. Take care of your people. Thank you to David for selling me this cabinet. We'll uh, make it super awesome, and uh, it'll live a long and happy life. Until the next video.